This video will conclude our series on connective tissues. We're covering our last connective tissue type, which is blood. So before we get into the details of blood, let's review the unifying characteristics of connective tissues just one more time. So, all connective tissues have a mesenchymal origin and they all have mesenchymal stem cells. All connective tissues have two major components, cells and extracellular matrix. Our extracellular matrix is composed of two major components. Our first component is called ground substance, which is the fluid component of our extracellular matrix. And then we have extracellular fibers. We have three major fiber types. Collagen fibers are going to provide strength in one direction, where Elastic fibers are going to provide stretch and recoil. And lastly, we have reticular fibers, which create a branching framework to provide support and strength in many directions. So there are our unifying characteristics of connective tissues. And our last connective tissue for us to cover is blood. Blood is unique when it comes to connective tissues because it is a fluid connective tissue. Because it is a fluid connective tissue, our extracellular matrix is primarily made out of water. Blood plasma is mostly all water. Because it's so fluid, we have a lot of space in between our cells. What we don't see in our matrix are a lot of extracellular fibers. We do have extracellular fibers, but they just don't stain unless you are looking at a blood clot because our fibers are going to make up a blood clot and they are called fibrin. So we don't see fibers, but we do see a lot of white space and a lot of space in between our formed elements. So we've got three formed elements in there. Two of these formed elements count as specialized cell types. We have erythrocytes. Erythrocytes are our red blood cells. Erythro means red. I will not accept red blood cell on a lab practical. You are going to have to tell me erythrocytes. Our erythrocytes are the pink disc-like cells that we see predominating this tissue. And our other specialized cell type is a leukocyte. The prefix leuco means white. So leukocytes are our white blood cells. White blood cells generally stain some kind of purple. So that guy there is our white blood cells surrounded by many red blood cells. Generally, you can see the nucleus as very dark purple on our leukocytes, and then the cytoplasm usually stains a lighter color purple. Again, we don't really have a specialized fiber type. Fibrin is what makes up our blood clots, but it is only present when you need blood clots. So most of the time it is in its inactive soluble form called fibrinogen, and that's why we don't see it in our slide here. Now I mentioned that we have three different types of formed elements. Two of those formed elements are erythrocytes and leukocytes. Our third formed element is called a platelet. And platelets are these tiny little purple dots that you see scattered throughout the slide. They are not cells. They are called cell fragments. 
and so they do not count as a specialized cell type, but I may ask you to identify them as a structure found in blood. So where exactly do we find blood? Well, our locations are fairly simple. We find blood inside our blood vessels and inside our heart. Hopefully you don't have blood anywhere else. We do have some organs that filter our blood, but mostly our blood stays inside of our blood vessels in those organs. The exception would be the spleen, but let's just keep our location to inside blood vessels and inside our heart. Blood as a fluid connective tissue also has some interesting functions. One of our primary functions, and probably the first one to come to your brain, is that our blood is going to transport materials around our body. Those materials include dissolved gases, nutrients, wastes, hormones, and heat. Heat is distributed throughout your body through your blood. Now because we have these leukocytes inside of our blood, our blood also has immune function. So our leukocyte is going to help to protect our body from any invaders that come into our body. And our leukocytes are capable of migrating in and out of our bloodstream and in and out of our tissues. So really our blood is functioning for the transportation of those white blood cells to different tissues. And we don't usually have pathogens in our blood, but the immune defense is there nonetheless. So when looking at blood, remember that we have two different specialized cell types. So I may put an arrow on this structure and say name this specialized cell type, or I could put an arrow here and say name this specialized cell type, and I would need two different answers for those questions. Also keep in mind that I may put my arrow on one of these structures and remember those are not cells but they are called platelets. And this concludes our lectures on connective tissue. So if you have any questions, never hesitate to contact your instructor.